my dear children i hope you are all fine and in good health when you see this video amidst the covid crisis we should know that we are truly blessed to have an opportunity to study so i hope you will utilize it to the maximum extent this is ansu here i'll be your computer instructor for this academic year for the first chapter in computer science this year we have to study the chapter called you have got mail and it is one of the topics that you will like very much because these are things that you do every day most of you know how to send an email from one place to another maybe to your friends maybe to somebody else you all make an attempt every day so this chapter focuses on how to make an email especially the email service provider that we are using is gmail you know that in order to access your account you should always use a gmail account if it is an android device because everything is linked to google these days we can say the world revolves around google we are using the google classroom facility which is another feature of google and we are using many many things from google in order to make your education very easy in this academic year so let's go on to the slide in this module we will be discussing about what is gmail what are the key features of gmail about creating a gmail account what are the steps required to create a gmail account what are the steps that you require to log into your current gmail account that you have made and what are the different types of tabs in the inbox so let's move on to the first slide gmail i have already put down four points for you to understand gmail or google mail is a free email provided by google that enables you to send and receive emails over the internet that is it is an email service provider that is it is used for sending mails from one place to another gmail is the short form for google mail and this is owned by google and it is accessible from every browser you don't need to use only the google chrome to access google you can even use any other web browser that is available that is uh, for example internet explorer uh, firefox and the third point is it provides a free storage space of 15 gb per account that is you can store up to 15 gb of data as files as videos as music files whatever you like free in the account that you create we can access it from desktop laptop tablets and mobiles that is you can use it anywhere nowadays people always use it from their mobiles because in order to start a android mobile you need to have a gmail account everything acts from the account the contacts you can always save it as a backup in google and then when you change your phones you can use that backup to retrieve all the information directly to your new phone similarly the, all these things anything that you would like to do is now available in the, your desktops laptops tablets and mobile phones now i would like to talk about what are the key features of gmail there are a couple of points that you have to study it lets you apply themes to your content if you look at my presentation it is a particular type of theme that i have used theme means only a design you can either make a design for your own that is called custom made or you can make one which is already there for you they have already made tailor made themes for you it lets you apply any theme that you like onto your data you can start a chat from inbox that is if you want to make a chat or a voice call or a video call you can do it from your inbox itself on the side you can see all your contacts you can do that from there itself you can organize emails into three tabs that is primary social and promotions this i will be discussing in the next slide so just understand that the emails when you open up your mobile or your uh, system you can see that it is basically categorized into three folders that is primary social and promotions 
files more than 25 MB can be shared using Google Drive. That is, there is always a file attachment limit. If the limit of the file is more than 25 MB, that is, if the size of the file is more than 25 MB, automatically the file will be saved in the Google Drive. You will be provided a link that will be given to the other person. From the link, you can download all the files. Currently, you are using a Google Classroom. All the data that you get, all the files that you receive are already saved in a Google Drive and then transferred to you. You can compose a new mail while accessing your inbox. That is, once you are doing this, you can always compose a new mail. You can draft a mail at any time and send. There is no compulsion that you just look into it or read through it. While reading through it, if you want to give a reply, you can reply it immediately. Or if you want to forward it to another person, you can definitely forward it from the inbox itself. To create a to-do list of tasks using Gmail, that is, you can also make a planner along with it. That is, you want so-and-so dates to do. That is for bigger people who are working in bigger offices who wants the list of tasks for every day and they can use it as a planner and say that tomorrow I need this task to be completed. It can be entered. Similarly, the task for a complete month or the next month, whenever it is of priority, can be included into this list. And the last one is you can view attachments instantly. As soon as the um, email comes into the inbox you can open it and instantly you can see the attachments along with it if it is attached properly the next slide is creating a gmail account you need to first create a google account and when you're creating a google account you should give a proper username a password your name your credentials along with it while creating your account What are the steps that are used to create a Gmail account? Open any browser. You can, I told you, Gmail can be accessed from any browser. So you can open any web browser. It can be Internet Explorer, it can be Firefox, it can be Google Chrome, Chrome or any other web browser that you require. In the address bar, we need to type accounts.google.com and press the enter key and when you press the enter key the sign in page appears that is the page where you need to sign in if you are making a new account then you have to click on the more options there are newer versions in which the more options are not to be seen this week itself I will be posting another video in which I will demonstrate how to open a gmail account and how to access your inbox then you have to click the create account option and fill the required fields create account option when you click you will see that they will ask you for your name a suitable email id then they will ask you for a suitable password alternative questions to open if you forget your password all these things you have to enter and then click continue to gmail button to access emails now how to log into your Gmail account? Once you complete your Gmail account, you can open it instantly because the next procedure is go to your inbox. But if you are closing it and you want to open it again, the steps to be followed are as follows. Open the web browser. In the address bar, type www.gmail.com and press the enter key. That is you need to type on the address field www.gmail.com and this press enter at that time the sign in page comes in the sign in page you need to enter your email id or phone number we have already created an email id so you can use that the next step is you need to enter the password in the password section then when you press enter the gmail inbox appears then, when we discussed the key features of Gmail, we talked about the different tabs in the inbox. In the inbox, you can find three different tabs. They are primary, social and promotions. 
the primary tab contains emails from friends families and colleagues the social tab contains emails from social networks and promotion tab contains marketing emails such as discounts deals and offers let me explain in other terms in the case of a primary tab the emails that you receive from your friends your close relatives all these come into the primary tabs that is those who are very close to you the friendly emails always come in the primary tab that is what you see in your inbox there are two more folders one is the social tab the social tab actually gives you the listings of your social networks that is facebook twitter etc whichever you use the notifications from those sites will be coming to your social tab and the promotion tab in the case of a promotion tab you might be interested in certain products and your search history shows that and when you are doing it and you give a an email to those sites whenever there is a new offer for example lulu mall has a site and you have given your email address to lulu mall to give you further updates what is happening there those things will be coming to your promotion tab because they are giving you a promotion and an offer that is what are the good things that they are having all these will be showcased in that files those will be coming to the promotions tab with this we come to the end of the presentation thank you